my tire changing. Because <clears throat> winter tires are probably the worst ones. But what I do, I probably, oh, sorry. If I loosen up the nuts before I jack it up. And of course, take off the wheel covers if you have any. And then jacking points for Toyota. Most of the imports are usually down here. They have like two little teeth, so if you ever get flat tires on the road, that's where you usually put them with a the scissor jack, which is not the greatest, but for me, it's good because if I have a three ton jack, I just measure it up and jack it up. Listen the nuts. You can see some of them are coming apart. Just want to loosen them up as so. Now it's always good to have winter tires on because these tires below weather basically get too hard like a hockey puck and you can't stop in snow and ice. And that's why we have winter tires. Which I do recommend because as some people say and most people will agree, it's like night and day driving. Even the most skilled driver can save in a longer slide. You'll slide. Now take this tire off. If it ever gets stuck, use a rod or one of these sticks. Smash the inside because sometimes it rusts around here. This time it's actually fine. And it gets stuck and it basically gets seized. If you want to look here, usually mount according to the rotation. So rotation goes according to cell. So I would mount it that way. And, uh, and how you would monitor rotation wise. So this tire was on from the back last year. So I put a sticker on. Basically, sticker means if this tire is in the back this year, I'm putting this upcoming season, I'm putting it in the front, which is what I did. Which means even wear and tear, and then your tires last a little bit longer. That's all it is. Took a little bit while, but you just gotta line it up. And then, all you need to do is put the nuts in by hand. And for me, I hand torque, because it's easier, because people say mounting or torquing, like tightening with the impact gun, it's the same. Oh, that was supposed to happen. Was the same as as you torquing with your hand, torquing by hand. So, but I disagree because why? It's too tight when you get on there. If say like you get a flat tire and you try to get off of the breaker bar, it's not gonna go well and you'll be straining for trouble. And if you have a torque wrench, these are pretty cheap around Canadian Tire, Lowell's, Home Depot. So always remember righty tighty, lefty loosey. So this one's going left. So I'm gonna crank this to the right. To basically get the tightness. And what I usually do is tighten my hand as tight as I can without any movement before I drop the car down to so make sure it's really tight. Which is pretty good. And just remember, as you saw me turning the dial earlier, so factory specs for tightening for these are 76 foot pounds. And how you can find that? Owner's manual. It's the holy grail for every car. Okay, we're gonna drop the car down now. Tighten. Now you know it's tight, you're really gonna hear a click as I go. Each one. It hasn't clicked yet until that's a click one. The so next one I always do cross style. That's a click, that's two. That's three. Just do a double check, make sure it clicks all the way around. 76 foot pounds. One, two, three, four, five. And 
that's it. And if you have wheel covers, let's put it back on. If you don't know how, hole goes here where the valve stem is, and you just slap it in. These plastic ones are usually pretty easy. And there you go. Tires, I usually keep inside. I know dealerships, if you get tires changed, basically they keep it for storage, but always check your tires pressures before you go, according to what your factory says. So this one's 30, 32, which is good. So now we'll just um, do the rest of the tires and then we'll go from there. And for this video, as I forgot to say in the last video, especially the Accord Slayer, sponsored by our good friends at oneautomotivegroup.ca. So if you ever want to buy a car and don't want to be with the salesman, or the finance manager, or all the above, because they're so, so pushy when you get in the door. Yeah, one automotive group cuts that. Cuts the middleman out. You just deal straight with the source. Basically, whatever car you could find, all makes and models, they'll find it for you. Obviously, subject to credit approval, but usually. Basically, uh, if you want to contact them for vehicle needs, go to oneautomotivegroup.ca, and then basically they'll help you out with that. We'll see my girl Amy. Shout out. I'm in games. So someone doesn't know how to do it right. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make this bad boy go to 76 one more time. You'd be surprised how much the service, uh, the owner's manual tells you. A lot of people just leave it there to collect the dust. They actually tell you even how to change your uh, air filters, which I can show you at one point. So you don't, you don't get gouged nosebleed pricing at the dealership if you have to be. That's easy to change, that takes like a few minutes. Okay, that's tight. I'm gonna tighten it by hand as much as I can. Loosen. This is Jack from good old Costco. Um, I always say, what don't they have? And trust me, they have just about everything. Even at one point, I even, where did I see them sell? Caskets? So if you're planning for your early death or late death, trust me, they got you covered. Okay, I'm going to go airborne.
And other questions I get people asking me is like, do I get steel wheels? Do I get alloy wheels? Some people just don't care about what they what their wheels look in the winter time. Or they don't have hubcaps on. Or wheel covers, whatever you can call it. But then remember, over time, as you don't wash it, the salt eats away. And the wheels look terrible, just like the Accord on the last video, which we can recap it. But, if it's all about stopping distance, that's all that matters. All right, back to 76. Left side, tighten. We'll tighten as much as we can by hand. So now we're gonna drop the vehicle down. We just do it nice and easy, don't go too fast. Just so we can get a leverage to see what's going on. <clears throat> and now we tighten one disc back. Covers, last one. And we are gravy. Now you're good for winter. There you go. Everything's all changed and you're good to go. Good for winter. And just remember with these tires, your old ones, you got a garage, store them, bag them, so they don't get dirty what I do. Stickers are still on there. So then you know which tire to put on which. I'm just so OCD. I have like the most labels on the outside. Hertz recap. If you want to look at rotation for any seasonal tires, so winter or summer, go in the direction that you want it to go. And then remember, tighten according to factory specs. Because if you tighten by the gun, I get it. Some people are like, it's quick, it's easy. It's too tight and say all of a sudden you get a flat tire. Unti untightening those to get a spare on, you're gonna fight for it forever. And also as well, hey, if you got strength for it, cool. If not, I'd say just hand tighten, probably your best bet. So you know, warp your rotors if you have any. Or even so warp the rims and so forth, that's all it is. And just remember, every year, rotate it. If it's a front wheel drive, rotate it from front to back. So it's even wear and your tires last longer, just like the dealership would normally do for your vehicles for your all season. So I think it's every six, 6,000 or 12,000 kilometers for your tires. So for me, I just rotate every season. So it gets even wear throughout all the time. Uh, what else is there? Tires, if you're gonna store them, you have a garage, store them. If not, store them somewhere that's warm, away from weather if you can. If you can't, get a good cover so that you don't have to deal with that. And just remember, uh, thanks to our good friends at OneAutomotiveGroup.ca. So if you want to buy a car, you want to deal, you don't want to deal with the pushy salesman uh, pushing for the car that you don't want or want. Forget it. Just go, go straight to my girl Amy. She'll get into the car that you want. Most times she can find you whatever you need and deliver it straight to your door, which I forgot to tell you the first time. So basically, uh, if you want to follow her, One Automotive Group on Instagram, Facebook, or go on the website, OneAutomotiveGroup.ca. Basically submit an application. She'll find you the car, deliver it straight to your door. End of story. That is it. We'll see you next time.
Mm-hmm. <laughs>